Getting started is really simple. We're going to install the AMP CLI globally with NPM. Then we're going to type AMP. First time users will be guided through authentication automatically. If not, just type in AMP login and follow the instructions. AMP shines in interactive mode. You can have natural conversations with your code. So if you want to refactor a function or you need to update your docs, just describe what you need. Let's update the unofficial AMP CLI docs with the new features. As you can see, you can at mention files and they show up instantly with the fuzzy search. As more and more happens, what we can do is hit control R and we can see this in sort of like a full screen mode. You have the space bar to go navigate to different pages, J and K to go by line, G and capital G to go from top to bottom. And you can also just hit Q for quit. We also added some slash commands. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to compact the thread that we just ran. And there we have it. Now we can get out of interactive mode. And we can continue the thread by copy and pasting this, or we can do it on the website. Next, we're gonna look at non-interactive mode. We can see the current git status. So what we'll do is commit all my unstaged changes. And there you have it, a clean branch. You know, from complex refactoring to updating docs, AMP CLI brings AI code assistance like directly to your terminal. And whether you prefer interactive or non-interactive workflows, AMP has you covered. So you can learn more at ampcode.com. Uh, my name is Justin and I'll catch you in the next one.